Hey, it's Lee, and I'm here with another food frozen food review. Excuse me. Um, I feel like I've had this one before for one of these reviews, but I can't see it in my list. I'll have to double check. Uh, but uh, this is one of the more kind of common ones you can get. It's Swanson's Fried Chicken. Um, the I don't know. I think this one this one is way better baked, but this is a microwave thing, so I'm going to make it in the microwave. Uh, but yeah, this is about as common as it gets. It's only 280 grams total. That's surprising. Um, some of my smaller lean cuisines are in that range. Um, and then the instructions are three minutes on high. Then you have to remove the brownie. Uh, then you put the film back on and you put it back and you have to stir the potatoes and you have to move the chicken and you have to do all sorts of work and then you put it back in for a minute and then it should be good to go. Um, I hate that you have to remove the brownie. I'm like, just make a slower baked brownie or just leave it out of this thing. That This feels like making a meal at this point. I want a microwave stuff and only microwave stuff. So... That's me being really lazy, but it just kind of annoys me. I, I feel like this should be a, you put it in the microwave and you forget about it. Maybe a stir. I'm okay with a stir, but removing means I need to use a separate plate or a piece of plastic or something. Uh, it just annoys me a little bit. But I've had this probably a hundred times. I know what it's going to taste like, uh, but let's, maybe they've changed the recipe for their potatoes. I don't know. Maybe they changed something. We'll try. All right, so this is what the box looks like for Swanson's fried chicken. And this is what the meal actually looks like. Um, you know what? It's not that far off. Like the chicken, <coughs> excuse me, I'm choking on the food again. I really need to like take a glass of water before I start these things. But <coughs> the chicken is a little less crispy looking because it's a lot less crispy. But the mashed potatoes, they look like mashed potatoes. The corn looks like corn and the brownie, other than the fact that I had to mangle it to get it out of that little container thing. It looks like the brownie. Well, it doesn't look like the brownie on the box, but it looks okay. Um, <clears throat> corn in these types of dinners is the best. I feel like they should all have corn in them because corn holds up better than any other vegetable to being frozen like this. Um, so the corn is excellent. I, I love it. It's great. Um, the mashed potatoes, Swanson's, man, I remember TV dinners used to have the worst mashed potatoes. Um, but nowadays, Swanson's kind of nailed it. They nailed it about 15 years ago, to be honest with you. But the potatoes are totally okay, as long as you microwave it long enough. If you ever under-microwave any frozen mashed potatoes, they become so gross. So you just make sure you put it in there for long enough. They're okay. Um, both the corn and the potatoes can use a ton of butter and salt. Uh, and I I will probably add some after this review. Because um, the whole thing is pretty un under seasoned. The chicken, um, this really benefits from being in the oven. You get a, a tiny bit of crispiness. Um in the microwave, it's it's pretty spongy. Um, it's fine, though. Like, from a flavor standpoint, it tastes good. I don't have any problems with it. I can get through this. It's not like I, I need it in the oven. It's just better in the oven. And the brownie is actually really delicious. I've always liked it. It's like a... It's almost like a pudding, almost. It's, it's, it's very... Uh, not quite liquid, but it's close. I like the brownie a ton. Um... I think this is overall a good meal. Uh, you know, I always have butter and salt at home, so it's not like I, I'm eating this on its own. So I'm adding salt, I'm adding butter. So be it. I do that to re regular food too. I think this is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not their best, but like it's a 7 out of 10. It's, it's a solid 7 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with this. People will shit on it because they, they know uh, they've had it before. And it's not the real deal. And you know it's not the real deal going in. So you shouldn't expect it to be amazing. Uh, but for what it is, a meal that you put in the microwave for four minutes and comes out half decent, it's hard to complain. All right. Thanks for watching.